love them or loathe them, and we're sure you'll let us know in the comments, e-bikes are here to stay. Here are five EMTBs that piqued our interest as we trawled the shows and attended launches over the summer of 2017. The Comensal Meta Power impressed us no end when we travelled over to the small mountainous country of Andorra earlier this summer. Non-powered versions of the Meta V4.2 have either won or performed highly in our Trail and Enduro Bike of the Year tests in recent years. So with Comensal utilising our favourite motor, Shimano Steps M8000, it was no surprise that this bike performs at the highest level. Burly suspension, wheels and tyres not only give supreme levels of confidence when the descents get gnarled and gnarly, but also give sublime traction and control when getting back to the top. Add in long slack geometry and we immediately felt at home on this big mountain focused rig. Also proving popular with testers this year was the Rocky Mountain Altitude Powerplay Carbon. Rocky Mountain are one of the few brands going it alone with a proprietary battery and motor system. The advantage? They aren't constrained by the architecture of the Shimano or Bosch motor, which has allowed them to build a bike with identical geometry to the standard altitude trail bike, including short chain stays not seen elsewhere in the EMTB ecosystem. This means it's one of the most natural feeling EMTBs on the market, and with the added weight of the motor and battery, its suspension felt noticeably better than its non-powered sibling in back-to-back -back testing. If big travel and big attitude is what you're after, and the common sal doesn't float your boat, then the specialised Turbo Canevo has to be right up on your shopping list. Boasting a full 180mm of travel, this is a bike for the very highest summits in your mountain chain of choice, without the need for a chairlift. Much like Rocky Mountain, Specialized used their own motor, which since we first tested it in 2016 has seen substantial improvements in performance. With Bluetooth connectivity, there's plenty of e-fettling available to fine-tune your assisted ride. Being specialised, there's plenty of own brand spec, which is no bad thing, but we're also pleased to see an Olin's coil shock. If anything screams Gucci in the suspension world, it's Olin's. Bike Radar's resident advocate for global tandemic Jack Luke didn't compile this list, but if he had, he would also have included the moustache tandem Samdi 27x2. Your eyes are not deceiving you, this is a plus tired bicycle for two with a motor giving you even more KOM killing capacity on long fire road climbs. You might think development would have been a simple case of popping a motor into a tandem frame, but Moustache had to customise the transmission to make sure that front and rear cranks could be properly connected. As an added bonus of the additional frame real estate, there are two batteries. With two riders potentially relying on the motor's assistance, we don't think a single battery would get you very far. The bike comes with a RockShox Yari fork, 2.8 Maxxis Recon tyres and a Bosch motor. We very much want one, but we don't know why. The clue is in the name. Pivot Shuttle is a gravity-oriented bike with an added motor to get you to the top of the trail ASAP. It's based on their 140-150 trail and enduro platform, but with a Shimano motor behind the cranks and a battery in the down tube. With a carbon construction, the Shuttle is claimed to be one of the lightest EMTBs out there at a shade under 20 kilos. Pivot are well known for their use of David Weigel's DW Link suspension, and it's seen here on the Shuttle too. Smooth, composed and highly competent, it's a system that lets the bike track the ground without throwing any unpleasant surprises your way. Although we seem to have shed ourselves of the wheel size debate, you can still find pockets of the internet arguing about tyres, so you'll be pleased to hear the shuttle will take 29er or 650B plus rubber. Mm -hmm.